sound check real quick. Test, 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 test. You guys go ahead and talk. 1,500 Americans dying from COVID each week. All Just right. Mellow. Mellow. Mates. <clears throat> Mates. Bro, is this the fucking six? Did I get it now? What? God almighty. Oh. <laughs> I think I got I think I got the six milligram now of all times. He got the uh he got the old six milligram Z is that what it's called? Zen. 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 It was like I put a shot of whiskey in my lip. I've seen yeah, that's that. Terrible. I've seen those like go like going around like not viral per se, but everybody's like getting sponsored by them on like YouTube and stuff like that. And um, like Tucker Carlson's, I think he's got like a big sponsorship with them. Am I right or am Dude, I wrong? Please give me a sponsorship. Yes. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll rep them all day. <laughs> I thought about trying them or and and uh, seeing if you know if it's something I might like, but I haven't. You know, I haven't even went out and bought anything like that. Um, who was it? Cody. I think Cody from my work. I think he got some. The other so day. I tried I tried the coffee one and like it doesn't really taste like coffee, but there's like nothing else that you could say what it tastes like. Does that make sense? That does yeah. not make sense. <laughs> it's like I can't I can't name it as another flavor, but like it's not like it doesn't taste like you drink a cup of coffee. It tastes like if you'd never had coffee and you were blindfolded and someone's like, this is coffee. And then they explain to you the flavor and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can kind of like. <laughs> hey, welcome back to uh, another episode of Mellow Mates. My name is Sean Wayne. Of course, you know me from the YouTubes. We got Rocky down below uh, from Singapore. He is one of the hosts. Welcome on our new hosts. Or our new co-host, uh, Ebon. Ebon's Hola. at the top. He's at the top, baby. You Como he's, estas? he's over here. In my screen, he's over here. Oh, he's above me. <laughs> Ebon is out from the... He's in the middle of nowhere. He was on our last podcast. He did not have a video camera at the time, but he does now. So we're rocking and rolling. Ebon, anything you want to you wanna bring to the podcast you want to say? Oh, not really. Just you got any wise thoughts on you? Uh, here, I'll take no. I'll, I'll take Ebon's intro. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. I'm pretty excited <laughs> about today's podcast. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Oh man, man, this week we got uh, Ebon's used to this, but we're getting uh, iced in. There's a big ice storm coming through today and tomorrow. Today is Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I don't know when this podcast will release. Probably tomorrow or Wednesday. Ron, what are you doing? We're not we're not supposed to timestamp the episodes. We oh. talked about this. We talked about this. What are you doing? I just I'm sorry. Now now people are gonna know. <laughs> They're gonna know anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um We are uh we do have some really cool ideas to revamp the episodes. We're gonna make these a lot more fun we got ebon in on the action uh it's gonna go really well i think it's gonna do i think it's still gonna do really well but we are sleeted or iced in at the moment and like i said ebon is used to this because he lives up there where it does it constantly any yeah, it's snowing right now any uh uh what do you call it any pointers that we, from Ala, you know alabamians need to know yeah just, chill, just don't drive in the snow <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll throw I a thing mean, on. I'll throw a thing on the uh, screen. It hadn't been, I mean. yeah, like a little snippet or whatever. Um, a little snippet. <laughs> I hadn't. I hadn't. Uh, it hadn't been three hours since the ice has started, and I'm like, Coleman Daly's already posted like cars just off the road. You know, the interstate terrible. shut down. Like it's all kinds of crazy. Taylor told me she was like, "You want to go and like drive around and like look at the snow?" I was like, first of all, there's no snow here. Second of all, the roads are ice. Are you crazy? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? You're just like all these Coleman drivers. This is what they're all driving around looking for snow and crashing. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> no, I don't want to go like and look at snow. 
I've never had a problem even driving because I used to travel a lot, even driving to states that had, you know, snowy weather. I didn't have a problem driving around. I just drove like normal. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I didn't have any issues. Be a little cautious, more cautious. Yeah, just extra braking distance, you know, be cautious of your speed going around curves and things like that. And there's no problem. When it it has snowed, a, you know, a pretty good chunk here uh, before. Uh, one time it did, and I went with my buddy because we were out of drinks. We were out of pe- like there was no power, and so we had like this little kerosene heater. And I was hanging out with him at the time. I couldn't get back to Holly Pond because Holly Pond is very far. You know, it's pretty pretty good drive from Coleman. It's like a thirty minute drive or so. But we were uh, we were stuck at his apartment, and me, him, and a bunch of other people. And he was like, "You want to go up here to the to the the O'Reilly's and grab a Mountain Dew out of the machine, dude? I'm thirsty." I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" And it is literally like three or four inches of snow on the ground. So we get out in his Ford Escort, by the way, <laughs> just a little bitty car, and we go up to go up here to O'Reilly's, get there, get a drink. He's like, "You want to see some cool shit?" <laughs> and I was like. Oh my god! <laughs> he just like rips the e brake. Like we're going down two seventy eight. It's a four lane highway, and he's like rips the e brake, and we're just like three sixty and like the smoothest <laughs> three sixty. I was like, "Do you have control at all?" Like we're just spinning in circles. I was like, "Do you have control?" <laughs> he's like, "No." <laughs> he's still going. We ended up stopping like this far from a curve. Like it was, it was like really scary. Oh yeah, once you lock your tires up, there's no stopping in the snow. Uh, yeah, I noticed 100%. Mm-hmm. And then that same night, we made it home. Uh, but that same night, it snowed a lot heavier. And, you know, obviously you can't be out on the roads and the cops don't want you out on the roads or whatever. We built this barrier, this snow barrier across 278. And it was like a three foot high snow barrier. We had shovels just, whoosh, just fucking packing it in all the way across. And, soon as we got done walked across the road got on the sidewalk turned around there was a crown vic coming over the hill of a police car and he was moving too he was you know he was he's driving like probably like 40 we was like oh so we're trying to get back or whatever we're just like hanging out back there in the shadows and he just doom <laughs> and snow goes everywhere dude and he just like stops and gets out and he's like you know what the hell <laughs> We're all just like running, <laughs> running in between people's apartments and stuff, trying to get back to the apartment to hide. <laughs> funny. Yeah. So that's what happens like when it snows down here. Like we just, it never happens. So we just go and do stupid stuff. So that's why a lot of people like crash and, and when chill. It yeah. like here, you go inside. Yeah. <laughs> <It's cold>. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's up there. is like, oh, it's a Thursday. <laughs> Dude, when I was working in um, Milwaukee, it was like a snowstorm, and it was like negative 10. And they are like, oh, you guys are good. Just keep going. Yeah, it sucks. I made a cup of coffee, and it was like a hot cup of coffee. Went out there and like sat it down on the scissor lift, put my harness on, grabbed my cup, and was like, it was a brick of ice. I was like, <laughs> Jeez. I would like Dude, to be in. Can... Go ahead. Uh, even at work, it's cold. Like today, it was only like 50 degrees inside jeez that's that's good working weather though 50 is good um but that's freezing because i'm i'm dealing with like metal i'm like touching it all day i'm on concrete that's outside it's freaking 12 degrees <laughs> that's what i hate about uh working at the you know up at rest core it was like they used heat to shape the cardboard and stuff so it was like 120 degrees in that plant. That was awful. I hated that job. I will never go back. <laughs> I do not. It's 10 out of 10. Do not recommend. It's 10 out of 10. Do not recommend. It is awful, dude. Super awful. And I was on like a clamp truck, too. Just riding What's around. A what? A clamp a what truck? truck? What's that? It's like a, it's like a oversized forklift with clamps on the front. And you just like grab like 5,000 oh, okay. pound road. talking about grab those rolls, pick them up, and then set them down on the rollers. Mm. I did that for a while. Yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, that was awful. Awful job. Was the pay good, though? Yeah, it was good. It was good enough for me to... 
I think I stayed for like seven months, something like that. I, I talk about it all the time on some videos, um, you know, on here or whatever. Yeah, I keep like hiccuping. Um, yeah, we weren't going to call you out on it. <laughs> uh, it's 6% hitting through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I talk about it all the time. It was like, it was like seven months I was there. I was on second shift and it was like, I couldn't make videos cause I got off too late. You know, I got off at 11 and then I went in at like three. So I would, I would stay on computer all night. You're just watching mm-hmm. videos and stuff and, and eating supper. And then I would go to bed and I wouldn't wake up till lunch or whatever. And then it would, there was no, no time to do anything. It was like seven months of just, Pure hell. <laughs> it was awful. Second would, shift's the worst. Yeah, it was it was awful. A lot of people like second shift. I don't under I guess do they I don't know. Kids? Yeah. As I say I'm up and do. That's their that's their getaway. They're like, Oh no, I can't do it. I'm on seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to go to the bar? Oh man, I gotta work. <laughs> I never I did like swing shifts where it was like two weeks on seconds, two weeks on first. Mm-hmm. That wasn't like awful. Because I mean I was young and I just didn't sleep. I'd get home at like one in the morning and sleep and get back up at five or six. So yeah. Get four hours of sleep. That's how I am. Yeah. I mean, I still I was, do the same thing. So I was just say, I was just working third, then I just went back to first. Yeah. I I feel like first shifts is where it's at. Oh, I yeah, think one hundred percent. Yeah. What gets me with first is that I still go to bed at one a.m. and get up at four now. I did too. <laughs> I cut my sleep time down. <laughs> the other day, it was uh, uh, me, Nick, and Cody. We were just sitting there talking. That's all we were doing was talking They're like about this meal sim coming up that we're getting ready for. And that's all we did for till two o'clock in the morning. And we all had to work like that next day. That's and, the airsoft event, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, we're gonna be at Fort McCullen. It's a full meal sim event. There's 500 people going to be there. Um, yeah, it's it's a big, yeah, it's a big event. I had to, I had to like upgrade my gun. Got, I had to put like a bigger spring in it, new barrel, hop up. I did, I built the gun for this event, and it's taken me. I want to say it's taken me, uh, probably three or four months, maybe, to build that gun, get it done. Anyway. Yeah. But they're but just yeah. like waiting on parts, or. Yeah. Well. Waiting on parts. I mean, the the parts wasn't necessarily expensive, but you have to wait on them. Uh, like you said, you have to wait, and it and it takes forever sometimes for those parts to come in. Sometimes they'll come in like the next day, but they want you to you know pay for shipping if you want it. It's like six dollars for like seven to ten business days, and then or if you want it like next day, it's like a hundred and three. You know, <laughs> yeah. And I ain't trying insane. to do all that. You know. <laughs> I think somebody's scabbing somebody down there at the shipping company. <laughs> Dude, I, UPS shipments are costly for mm. like five dollar or like a five pound box. It's like a hundred bucks. It's I insane. had I had like an issue with my hop up. Uh, we put a uh, we put the hop up in. It wasn't like lined line up. It was like shooting. It was like rolling BBs out of the barrel because <laughs> it just wasn't you know wasn't working. So I had to order another hop up and. Uh, it, but it, I got it done. It's 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 good. It's ready to go. Got my scope signed in. I think we're gonna have some really good fun up there. Mm-hmm. But yet you, you have to like wear full military or full military gear like multicam. You have to wear all that, and then once you you know, once you get down there, uh, we have six teams on hotel. And then you have Charlie and, and and all that, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of people going. I mean, it's going to be a massive event. I wish, cool. I wish you was into uh, uh, airsoft like we was. It'd be fun. Sledding just never happened. Not that it won't happen ever, but it just hasn't happened. You, you got to try it out. I've got uh, some extra guns that you could use if you wanted to ever come out and try it. Just gonna go out there and I'll just like spray paint my shirt up. No, nah, d- no, 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 no. The regular events, you don't have to like wear like stuff like that, unless you want what to you, like, unless you want to like match us. What do you wear like high vis? No, 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 no. Uh, Nick wears a full ghillie. 
Like he wears a full ghillie suit. He like lays in the woods, and snipes people. Yeah, you don't you don't have to like, you know. I wear I uh, last event I went to I wore like blue jeans and a tan shirt or something like that. And then oh. you know, of course, my gear I have like, um, plate carriers, and and a helmet and stuff like that. But yeah, you ain't gotta wait. You ain't gotta be like all, oh, cam out. It's just this, that. huh? Oh, I said he could literally wear that and go. Yeah, you could like what you're wearing now. You could go now. I'd... Oh, because I got a green hat. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> this specific event, you have to wear camo because it's like, you know, massive teams. So we have to know like who's on who. So you got civilians yeah. and you got military. So we're on military side. I got you. They ever do like a shirt civilians? Hmm. Are you saving them? No, we're against them. Oh, so you're shooting them. There's like a whole backstory. I'd get into it, but it's super long. But there's like a whole backstory to it. They go all in. They like they want you to, you know, role play this. They want you to take it serious. And it was very expensive, so you you know, you, you would want to take it serious. So we bought our we bought our tickets a while back, and it was like okay. it was uh uh we bought our tickets a while back, and then if we hadn't, it'd been sold out just like that. You just invite me when you guys are doing like the shirts versus skins match. That's when I'm <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever do that. <laughs> I don't, I probably never. I probably haven't showed you before, but like Nick shot me in the neck one time. Um, I was peeking, you know, just <laughs> and I was just peeking around like this, and he like was laying down in the woods. I could not see him because he's wearing like a ghillie suit. And I'm just like looking around. I was like, I know he ran into the woods. Like I know he did, and then. Wow, they got hit right in the neck. And I was like, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> like walking away. <laughs> you can hear like in the video. I was, I had a camera rolling on my head. You can hear it, dude. It like smacked. Felt like I about got shot with a real bullet. It was ridiculous. Nick Sniper like, really paintball? nice. I, I did, uh, I did long time ago, like long time ago. Frozen uh, paintballs. My uh, stepdad shot me with frozen paintballs one time. Dude, that's where it's uh, that it hurts. What an abusive childhood, <laughs> dude. Yeah, he. Uh, um, we know you don't have any trauma. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, frozen paintballs in the freezer that we were going to shoot at a target or something. To see if it like busted them or I think it was. I can't remember. There was there was a reason those paintballs were frozen, and. We were all running around, and my stepdad like got this like, I don't know, this random idea like I'm gonna go shoot everybody with a paintball gun. So he yeah. grabbed my my Tintman 98, spun the old uh, thing on the back of it, and just loaded that thing with frozen paintballs. I don't know if he knew about it or what, but he shot me in an ankle, and I almost did a flip. Like it hurt so bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> my man said, you know, I'm gonna go traumatize my kids real quick. <laughs> He said, I know one of you pissed on the toilet seat. <laughs> There's only one dude like in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, my cat's like doing stuff. Y'all can continue. That's a problem. You got a cat. Dude, my knee is killing me. Yvonne, whenever you got up and walked away, your chair like turned and followed you. Did it? Yeah. That's cool. It was like a ghost. Yeah. Sean, I, I Googled frozen paintballs and it says uh the real pros soak their paintballs in kerosene and have a small blowtorch mounted at the end of the barrel. Is that accurate? I don't know. I've never played professional. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if it's real or not. That doesn't sound real. It sounds it sounds very malicious. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot somebody with a kerosene paintball that's on fire. Kerosene paintball. You're like, what the hell is that? Is that a tracer round? No, it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Load up that dragon's breath. Yeah. <laughs> what if it was like a paintball of kerosene? Oh my jeez. I wouldn't even want to 
Like, I would wish that on my worst enemy, did I? Kerosene filled paintball on fire. It hits you and splatters. What, so what's everywhere. the what's the equivalent of that in airsoft? Getting shot with a CO two direct like point blank. Yeah, um, a lot of people HPA they're uh, they have like rules and regulations now, and like MEDs and stuff like that. And um, so you really can't like get hurt unless you go to play somewhere like Mount Doom. And then if you're at Mount Doom, nobody really cares until somebody says something. Like, we've never gotten chronoed unless it was an event at Mount Doom. Chronoed's where they check your gun, make sure you're not shooting hot. Cody was shooting a little hot. Uh, he didn't know. Um, he didn't do it on purpose. But he didn't know. He had his regulator turned up a little high. And so he was shooting a little hot. He, you know, he peppered this dude. The dude was like, Hey! What the fuck? <laughs> it hurt, bro. <laughs> and you know, it was like one of those situations where, like, he wasn't like, uh, he was like, he was out. You know, obviously, he could he had to walk across the field to get out or whatever, but he wasn't moving. He was like, this guy's, this guy's it. You, you know, we gotta get him. So like, they pulled Cody off the field and crown out him. And sure enough, he was shooting pretty hot. So he turned down his regulator. Yeah, you can, but you have MEDs, and so you can get around like somebody. And like some events, this last event we went to, the bang rule was a like a courtesy. Like I come around and you know bang bang. Um, that's like me not wanting to hurt you. But if you turn around with a gun, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> this is what that that's what that's for. And uh, this event's got MEDs, I think. No, we don't. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's all like. Why don't you hey, get? Why don't you get one of those knives that like goes in when you push it? And then you could do like a Call of Duty style, spin them around, right. stick them in the neck, you know, and then. You know yeah, they probably get mad. <laughs> yeah, I well, no. I I wouldn't think they get mad. Um, That's the name of the game. They should have been paying attention. Nick got has, caught lacking. Nick has a knife that's like rubber that he could use if he if he wanted to. If he got close enough to somebody, he could use. Go we'll buy one from like Dollar General or Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking about like the little spring loaded one. Not like they're not sharp. They're like plastic, but they're like spring loaded. Yeah, you just like <laughs> the spring <laughs> gets the spring gets caught on a piece of plastic inside. You just stab them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's like <laughs> you're like, oh man, you really role playing this. You look down, there's blood on there. You're like, mm. <laughs> no oh, way. <laughs> Like, oh, dude, you got blood packs too. Cool. <laughs> dude, it's really you just, just run off. <laughs> yeah, no. dude, that's awesome. You're really in it. He's like, help me. <laughs> like, <falling> over. <laughs> I was like, your teammates right there. He'll revive you. <laughs> <Take off run. laughs> so they're trying to put some band aids on it. <laughs> <laughs> this dude really stabbed you and took off. He said, yeah. He said I was doing great. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said you're doing great, and you took off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bleeding out. <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna be this weekend, and uh, we'll be down there at Aniston, and uh, we'll be down there for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Or we'll be coming back Sunday. But it's me, Nick, Cody, and uh, me, Nick, Cody, and Luke. Uh, Luke's one of my buddies I met at backstage the previous job I worked at, and uh, he's been uh, he's been keeping in touch and playing airsoft with me when we go. So he's. He's like really into it, I guess. One that hurt your leg backstage. Yeah, that's the one that I got injured at. Show sure enough, Jamie. he is. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> yeah, I'm still coming off the bottom end of this. I'm still like I walk really good now, and I can jog. For the most part, I can jog. My last checkup was in November, like November thirtieth. And he's like, I was like, when can I skateboard, doctor? And he's like, give us six more weeks or seven. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but after that, uh, I started like, you know, lightly like walking fast. Because I really want to get back into like activities and stuff. Can't keep like sitting around or whatever. Can you, can you golf? Yeah, I can golf. That's one thing I could still do is even with like a brace on, I could still golf. So that's. Uh, I'm not really like putting uh, like pressure on my knee or whatever. Um, when this did happened, which was crazy, I tore my ACL, 
my knee swell for, you know, maybe a day or two. I was on crutches. Uh, I was on crutches for like three or four days. Um, started coming back to work. had a little bit of a limp. Nothing crazy, you know. Uh, nothing major. Uh, but I felt fine after. Like I could walk around doing everything. We were at a family gathering and I swung a baseball bat to like, you know, just hit a baseball. And I fucking hit the ground. <laughs> My leg like give out when I swung the baseball bat and I was just like... And just the slammed ground. the ground, dude. It's like I lost you control of my leg. You didn't stretch. I, I didn't have an ACL to stretch. <laughs> yeah, I slammed the ground. I was like, dude, what the hell? And, uh, yeah. I'm still doing good. I'm getting to where, like I said, I can jog. I can't, like, full run yet. But uh been exercising, which is cool. I guess that's a cool thing to do now. I've uh, been exercising. I've been eating kind of healthy, or pretty healthy. I've been eating chicken and rice for the most part. It's all for this event. I've been trying to get ready for this event, so that's why I went on a diet and and all that good stuff. So, so I'm getting trying better. to be a smaller target, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to be a healthier target. I don't want to get out there, <laughs> you know, walk 300 yeah, foot. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he runs walk. nine feet, and he's like, huh? <laughs> Uh, this, hang on. That's how it was, dude. Uh, this last event that me and Nick went to, uh, we had to walk clear across the thing, and I was like, I'm going to go to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you all right? I'm like, yeah. Like, I got away from everybody. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> like trying to breathe or whatever. But, yeah, uh, I think I'm not getting as gassed as much as I was. So that's good, I guess. You ever do like part. disc golf? Uh, I have before, long time ago. I haven't done it in. I haven't done it in a while. I'll say that. It's been a it's been a hot minute. Yeah, I haven't gone in a long time either. I don't even know if I could do that. I'd probably just have to like, with my knee the way it is right now. I don't know if I could. I probably have to wait till I'm like fully healed. No, but I mean I, you can sidearm it. You don't have to like run up. I mean you can just sidearm it you don't have to you don't have to like do a run up and a full blown you know overhanded swing yeah i got made fun of, i got made fun of for that no it's like the two different styles there's like underhand and where you like go all the way around that kind yeah. of thing i mean obviously you'll get more distance going with like the full swing but i mean you could still play it by just sidearm because i mean as long as you can like get that that whip down you can still get pretty far with a sidearm what are you guys talking about disc golf disc golf Oh, are you able to tomahawk throw it? Is that legal? Why not? Like, yeah, yeah oh. you ever throw like that? I don't because well, I don't think so because they're not made to fly that way. You can get some distance. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> is it accurate? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, like not catches at all. catches wind and just starts whoo, <laughs> yep. just takes off Pretty another direction. Free. You just go over and tomahawk it again. They're yeah, like, no, throw it this way. And he's like, oh, I got it, bro. Have you seen those crazy shots that people hit, like, one, like, in the goal? Just yeah. the one time. And then the one dude fell off the whole platform, drained it, like, 500 yards down. <laughs> Not 500 That's crazy. yards, but, like, maybe 200 yards down in between two trees, drained it and everything. Did you see the video where the dude, like, chucks it, and it's, like, a 300-yard a shot? It goes all the way out, like curves up and over the woods, come down and like it's it's gonna go in the basket and it like nails a dude in the top of the head. <laughs> no, I've never video? seen that. About... That one's gold, son. Because the camera goes straight to the to the goal. But then you can see the guy get hit in the head. <laughs> oh. You see those like bat long basketball shots thinking it's gonna go into the hoop and then just dome some like old person. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Me and uh, me and Dylan used to do like trick shots at my house. Uh, we had like this basketball goal set up, and we would just do the randomest stuff. We'd like stand on top of a car and like just throw it as hard as we could to see if we could make it in. I just all kinds of stupid stuff. That was like a long time ago too. It was like years ago. I have like old videos on my uh, first YouTube channel of that kind of stuff. I have to link it in the description below. If you guys want to see me before my prime. Check the description. <laughs> Before my prime, he said. Yeah, I'm still Before in it, prime. baby. Still in my prime. 
I'm always in my prime. My Optimus prime. <laughs> okay, I had to look the video up because I wanted to watch it again real quick. <laughs> it's not like gory or anything, but... <laughs> so, Yvonne, what do you guys do in like winter sports during the winter time? Do you guys do any hobbies outside? Or Me? is it just like... Personally? I mean, the community in general. The yeah, 19 got, people that live in your town. We got basketball and volleyball and all that shit. You guys do yeah. volleyball in the winter? I mean, the, the beginning of winter, yeah. Beginning of winter. I feel like that would hurt. Volleyballs are tough. So I know. Inside. <laughs> when is your... What is, when is your... Uh, what? When's your winter months? Don't you got like three months of summer or something like that? Where it's yeah, not it cold? Start, it starts... Well, October is when it starts to get cold into fall. Mm-hmm. But I would say it starts around late November and then springtime comes around late March, early March. I was wondering, is it just doesn't seem... Like every time we ever talk about the North and how cold it is and stuff like that, it's like always cold. Or it's always, you know... Feels like it's always winter time up there. Oh well, this year definitely felt like winter during summer too because of that. Uh, Canada being on fighter, like yeah. that one mountain or whatever. All that smoke came over here, so you couldn't really go outside. Yeah, when I went to uh, New York, I was up there. <laughs> when I was in New York, dude, it was uh, it felt good. It was not like super hot. It wasn't super cold. It was just. You know, it felt good. <laughs> Rocky hates him when I talk about New York. <laughs> he is he has found a way to get it in every episode. <laughs> He's got to talk about it. New York, what's so special? It's so cool, dude. Dude, wow. it's it's like so cool. You, it's so hard to fathom. Like you're just sitting there and you're just seeing buildings for like miles, dude. Isn't that yeah, the bro? It's called thing? a city. That's <laughs> all all over the place. Yeah. Just go to any big city. <laughs> It's so cool. <laughs> Isn't like New York like one of the biggest like buildings city? I think so. I think You mean like tallest building? Well, no, not necessarily the tallest building. But no, like, I think they have the most skyscrapers or like one of the most. Yeah, that's what like, I that's what I was wondering state. like cuz I know you got like Chicago but like isn't like New York like have the most like big buildings or something like that. I think it would be like most the city that has the most skyscrapers. I think is what you're saying. Yeah. Jamie. Jamie, pull that up. I mean, I've been to like downtown Miami, downtown Dallas. Like there's, I mean, there's a bunch of big cities. New York. Yeah. New York has the most. It does. See, that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to like, fathom that it has more than dubai i want to see dubai i think that would be really cool i think dubai has like the tallest building yeah what hong kong has 553 skyscrapers new york does i don't don't know if that's a lot or hong kong i mean skyscrapers are what like 40 40 stories i don't know how big us i don't know hang on We'll see. We'll see what categorizes as a skyscraper. Like the World Trade Center had 104 floors. Yep. What do you do? Uh, skyscraper has to be at least 330 foot or more. God. So I mean, that's that's pretty tall, isn't it? Oh yeah. 330 feet. Yeah. yeah, I used to fly my drone like, I think it was 130-ish feet. I don't know. I can't remember. It was like 130 feet, and it, I felt like I was in heaven. I mean, it was that high. I can imagine what 330 feet feels like. <clears throat> um, I don't know what the conversion is, but Central Park Tower in New York is 472 meters. That's like... Uh... And then the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is 828 meters. So it's double the height almost. Central Park's uh, 
hundred and fifty feet. <laughs> we got two Jamies on us. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Hang on, let, me, let me pause this real quick. Hang on a second. Yeah. It That's is insane. It is pure sleeting out here. Purely sleeting. Is it, did you yeah. get a picture? No, it's 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 just ice. It's not like white. Yeah. Is it skeeting? Yeah, it's skeeting. <laughs> They're outside amazed. I'm telling you, Alabamians don't get that stuff around here. Yeah, they well, see we, ice and they're like, oh my God, we have this have in our fun. freezer. <laughs> this stuff comes out the sky. <laughs> we make this, this is what in happens, the freezer. <laughs> this is what happens when I put my cup in the fridge door. Have fun getting rust. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my computer at 164 degrees? It's on fire. Got a, uh, you got a, you got a, it's uh, on the Doing Wait, anything. degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Okay. So what yeah, is what is it at in uh, Celsius? I don't know. It's not doing anything. Like, is it froze? Wait, are you in Fahrenheit or so? Yeah, my stuff's in Fahrenheit. Oh, then you're you're peachy, I think. How much was it's it? It's orange. At? It's orange. I don't know. How much was it in Celsius? I don't know. It won't switch over. Click it's the uh, click the uh, Fahrenheit. Damn. Like the little F. Uh, that's uh, what was it seventy eight? Okay, it's down to one forty now. I just that's cleaned my 37, RAM. Thirty seven degrees Celsius is a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. I just I cleaned my RAM and it went down. To what? Uh, one fifty six degrees Fahrenheit. Uh yeah, see that's sixty eight Celsius. So you're good. Yeah, you're good. It's one it's one forty five now. It was in the orange. It was like one sixty something Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's it's probably because your your disk management or whatever was like at a hundred percent for some reason. Yeah, it was doing something. Oh. He said we got two Jamies, let's go. <laughs> we got two Jamies, let's go. Turn pink real quick. <laughs> oh, oh, we doing we doing lights, huh? <laughs> I don't have. I don't. I only got like my desk light. Sean, you don't have adjustable lights. What the heat just? Do, I do used red. to. I used to. Actually, I got one on the floor right here behind my. If you can see the light. I yeah, can I can see it. The... But uh, I almost broke my shoulder. <laughs> My desk is like my desk and my PC. It like changes lots, but I don't have any like lamps or anything hanging around. I've got like whatever this one's doing. I have the identical underneath my desk. This holds my headset. <laughs> it was like two bucks. <laughs> Did you get that at Five Below? No. Oh, you Dollar don't have. General. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I wish I could show you guys. So I took like a wall hanger. Like mm -hmm. a, what you would screw on the wall to like hang keys on, but it's only like one hook. And I screwed it to the side of my desk, and that's what I hang my headphones on. Really? <laughs> yeah. You can't see I, it. It's like right. I here. have this like USB uh like it's a box it's that has it. three like three USB oh. ports on it, and it has like a headset holder. But the headset holder is just straight garbage. Every time I hit it with my leg, my headset falls out. So it's pointless to use. Uh, I um, I used to have like my old desk. I had like RGB all under it and stuff. But I I made all that with like light strips and stuff. It looked really good. I liked it. But ever since I got this new desk, I just yeah. haven't like messed with it. I want to get this desk. I don't know. John, can you stand on your desk? Uh, it's very iffy. I seen you stand on your desk. I know you can stand oh, on yours. Zero fear to stand on this desk. <laughs> zero fear. Now mine I have you know, some fear. I feel like it would collapse. Oh mine's a two piece too. So mine's like it doesn't have a leg in this back corner because it's two desks together. Yeah. So like there's no leg in the middle here. <laughs> but that's where I that's where I always stand at in the corner where they meet. Yeah. <laughs> You're brave, dude. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the day when I'm up there and then everything's like, <laughs> it's all just yeah. on the floor. 
Oh, the that would suck. Yeah, I dropped it in general. This is the PC. Uh, uh just uh, go live on your. Yeah, just share it. You know. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you go live, it'll pop up on the the actual thing. How do I do that on here? Share screen. Yeah, share we screen. Can't re- we can't record the chat. Can you see it? Uh, no. I don't think so. How about now? No. Are you live? Are you live in it? I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm clicking live and it's not going. Here, hold on. Yeah, it's not working. Just describe it to us, Yvonne. There you go. It's just a... I'm going to picture it in my head as you describe <laughs> it. It's just an RGB desk. But it's like the whole thing is RGB underneath the glass mm-hmm. or underneath the top. Oh. I'm so okay, happy you. that my family let the cat out. Don't you so love happy. Because now it's just a start. Mess on my drink. There she goes. Yep. <laughs> oh, we Ebon? lost Ebon. We lost Ebon. Oh. He's he's pending. Oh. Oh. He's back. I'm here. I'm back. Yeah, what the fuck? It's not working. Sorry. I gotta say, I think this has uh, topped us for the most unorganized podcast that we've done. It really has. <laughs> we shall be much better prepared next time. I got a lot of editing to do in this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Us Alabamians haven't seen us in a while. Everybody had to- Everybody had to break the seal on the door that I had and go outside and check it out. So now I got to reseal my door. What do you got to seal your door? Like air comes through it. You're sitting here talking when it's freezing here. (laughs) Motherfucker. They left the door open too while they were like looking into the ice. They were like, oh my God, ice is coming out of the sky. (laughs) They left the door open. I got chilly. You got full coverage? You got full coverage? On my car? Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> not on my Miata. I you do catch on those one of them hailstorms. I'm telling you. Oh, I know. We went through it, dude. Time out. Hang on. A massive hailstorm come through a long time ago, and uh, I lived across the road from this dude. It was the funniest thing ever. And uh, yeah, the hailstorm come through or whatever, and a part of town got really messed up. Very messed up. Rocky, you might remember this. I mean, it destroyed cars. I mean, de- like total cars out. The hailstorm was so bad. The other part of town just got a little dense, like we did. We just got a couple dents in our like little cruise that we had, and then which we had full coverage. So you know, we just mm-hmm. yeah, we just had them fix it or whatever. The guy across the street from us, there's no cars messed up on this on this thing. He went out with a baseball bat and beat the shit out of his car. Purely, yeah, he beat the crap out of it with a baseball bat. We was watching him. And insurance guy come out there and was like, it's weird that it only happened to your car. He was like, no, it happened <laughs> to everybody. You, you you know, you see everybody's car in town? He's like, where, where did your car get hit at? He's like, right here. I was like, why? Idiot. The guy was like, why is everybody's car down this block not messed up? He was like, I don't know, man. It's not me. They had it covered up or something. Like he just kept arguing with him. But one hundred percent. Yeah, it was one hundred percent. Yes, that is yeah, most definitely very insurance illegal. fraud. <laughs> that is yeah. insurance fraud all day. I don't know whatever. Like, you know, I don't know if you ever got in trouble for it or whatever. I know they didn't take care of it. Cause the car sit over there under a tarp for God knows how long because he busted all the windows out of it. <laughs> Imagine just ruining your car. <laughs> he did one hundred percent. He ruined his car. It was like a Chevy Cavalier or something. He ruined that thing. What's the what's For the insurance bucks. payout on a Chevy Cavalier? Nineteen dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they let it go for seven hundred bucks. I totaled Dylan's Cavalier out with my truck, mm-hmm. and they paid him for or with my old car, they paid him fourteen hundred dollars for his. So oh. I mean that 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 kind of there's that. <laughs> It's not, not much. Even, not even enough for another car. Right. My brake lines went bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, 
technically they did because I didn't know. But me and my friend were look, looking at each other and driving kind of fast. And then I came up and I slammed on my brakes. My car didn't stop. And Dylan stopped at the only yellow light he's ever stopped at in his life. It's wrong place, wrong time, baby. <laughs> That's it. Dylan never stops the red lights. He used to run them all the time. He ran them for the hell of it. He stopped at this one. He's like, you know what? It's time to be a good Samaritan. <laughs> Pulls up and mops his nose and turns around. Bam! <laughs> Just gets hit. <laughs> oh, man. Totaled his Cavalier. He loved that thing, too. Yeah. He loved that car to death. And it died because I smashed it. They didn't pay me nothing. They didn't pay me shit for my car. My car like totaled out as it totaled his out, and I just like rolled into Burger King parking lot. It sat there for two days. I finally come and got it, took it home, and I had to like rebuild the front end just to because I didn't. The insurance was like, no, 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 you hit him. <laughs> this, is, this is your problem. <laughs> so I had to fix that car like by myself. Uh, it was like put a fender on it the the front will like you know here's the front it was like smashed in and i like put it against a tree with a ratchet strap and just walk out walk out and just pulled it out as much as i could and just put a fender on it (laughs) john how does it work when you uh snatch ratchet straps oh they break (laughs) we've experienced that a lot here recently ask ask my strap that's a dylan's house (laughs) But at the that Miata I'd gotten from you, I pulled the front yeah. end out with a ratchet strap. I put it against the tree, like the back tires, the back tire against the tree, and then like hooked the ratchet strap to a tree into the front end, and I was just like, and it was just like pulling the front end out, just slowly, yeah. little by little. So we got some big plans for that Miata, for sure. Yes, yes, we do. We plan on. Carbrating, carbrated 350 swapping that thing and doing a full cage. And Rocky, your man here, is going to be the fabricator. It's going to be a really cool video. I cannot wait to get started on it. And and for that, there's a whole like announcement coming for that. Um, should be this uh these next two weeks. We're gonna it's gonna be a huge announcement. Um massive announcement it's gonna be crazy um i hope this goes through i think it's gonna be some a game changer for the most part but yeah we're uh, we're relocating all the equipment and everything of you know that has to deal with the youtube channel and we're taking it to a certain place and we got a whole huge sponsor for this i mean it's massive it's gonna be crazy that's why we've been holding off on videos um and and stuff like that so don't Next, lie to him. You're just lazy. do what? I said, don't lie to him. You're just lazy. <laughs> I am very lazy. Um, that's like, but yeah, that's why we've been uh, like holding out on him. Um, yeah, we just got a massive announcement coming. It's gonna be massive. I wish you could be here for it. Be behind it. It's super cool. I'm here. Maybe we'll spiritually. Uh, yeah, spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> um. These videos obviously get better too. They, we're gonna do. We got like some really cool ideas that we're gonna implement. Um, Ebon's gonna become a TV, and one of them. Is, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Yeah. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a good year. I'll say that. That's a serious thing. That's gonna. It's gonna be a very massive year. Very good year. I think so. Oh, it's uh, it's go hard or go home for sure. Yeah, this is the last time we're doing it. Let's <laughs> go hard or go home. Either we're going to be doing this full time by the end of the year, or I'm just going to be like, bro, one more run. <laughs> one more run. One more run. We got it. We're going to be famous YouTubers next month, next year. We'll do it. We got next this. Next year, yeah. <laughs> it's do or die. It's do or die. Dude, these wheels on this chair are garbage. <laughs> what, Yvonne, is your floor like unlevel or something? Yeah. Why are you always like, you're constantly just drifting to the right? This, uh, <laughs> The whole side is just like this way. <laughs> it's, it's making me mad. Ebon is into sim racing as well as I am. He built his sim rig just like I did out of wood. We're wood yeah. sim rig buddies. My shit was free. I just took all the wood from work. <laughs> I, paid, I think I paid 
uh, 40 bucks for all the wood that I have. Um, I built this thing like three years ago. I've had it for a very long time. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've spent like 40 bucks and then the brackets were like 10 bucks or something like that that I bought. I cut it all in even. If you was Dude, to I, like, <laughs> if I you literally was, didn't have any tools. <laughs> I just used a hammer and nails and some <laughs> screws. If you like look at it, uh, like the two by four sits like, you know, like this supposed to sit like this. Mine sits like this cause it's cut in even. So it's like, <laughs> it's straight, but like the two by four is like, there's like a gap or whatever. It sits like this. It's funny, but it works. It's very sturdy and it works. They might dirty but i have an issue with my seat because i have a passenger seat out of a celica so two of the two of like the where the bolts go through are flat and then where it goes to meet the console or whatever yeah it's on the side so it's upwards it's facing upwards so you have to put a bolt sideways hmm. and i basically bent it downwards as far as i could go but there's no like support there, so I just like put two screws in there, bent them backwards, <laughs> some redneck stuff. Hey, that sounds like us on Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> That's that shit Alabamians do. We need to do some uh, some more VR videos and stuff too. We were uh, we were just talking about that before the before the podcast. Uh, we're thinking about doing a a VR. Um, podcast like VR thing. We're gonna try and implement it in the best way possible, to where we can do VR, but be within the show. I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so it'd be kind of like an in-person podcast, but in VR. Yep. Well, Just I'll to be... try it for an episode. <laughs> yeah, see if it works. I think it would be uh cool. We all have Steam VR, so I think we'd be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be able to like, I'd and be able a to quest, like meta too, if if need be. Yeah, yeah, I think we could do it for sure. And we're gonna start. I would love to start playing VR games, because there's nothing on console. I mean, not console. There's nothing on PC right now. Same, same thing. There's cool. nothing. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta like. Well, Rocky got a VR now, so I mean, we can. Yeah. We could just play VR. I, I like hard quit, hard rage quit Tarkov. I mean, I'm not playing it ever again. I will not it's play it ever again. What, ha- what happened in Tarkov? Bro. Yeah, tell them. <laughs> so you have it like, you have end game money. It's hard to right. get. And so I spent all of this money. I spent like a hundred something thousand whatever monies. On rubles. Rubles, yeah. On you know, getting all this gear, dude. And we went out and I got shit on. Like we ran across the map and everybody's in front of me. So everybody's getting the best loot. So I'm just getting like the scraps and we're, Oh, deodorant. Cool. Oh, bar soap. Awesome. So I'm just like rolling through and getting all that. And then we get in the woods and I did get, I did get like six scav kills. I'll say that I got like six scav kills. There's some dude just coming around the corner. It was a, it was a real player and just bow. Got me around the head. Lost all that gear. And they like wiped out everybody, I think. I think Cody got away. I can't remember. Anyway, it does, doesn't even matter. Um, I got completely wiped. And then I had nothing in my inventory for backup. So I just like bought more shit. And uh, I like rage quit that game. But that next day I got on, I like bought more shit. And I was like, okay, we're going to have a good time. Here we go. Have a good time. It was a one time. It was a one time fluke. It won't happen again, truly. Yeah, yeah. it happened like every day. <laughs> so that was just like the day I rage quit, and I was like, "I'm not playing this game again." And then Nick, Nick was like, "Come on, bro, it happens. You'll get more stuff." That's what he said. It happens. It happens to all of us. And I was like, "Yeah, but you guys got backup stuff. I don't." <laughs> anyway, I got back on, bought a bunch of stuff. I'm like out of money. We get into a raid. I'm hoping I find some cool stuff get in there start looting i'm like running away from the pack so i can get to the loot first before nicking them so i'm getting to the loot first i'm finding some cool stuff some dude rolls up on us one taps me in the head and i lose it (laughs) 
<laughs> did I lose it? I ought to have forwarded that game so fast. I'll never go back. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt like playing DayZ. Like, you spend four hours collecting loot, and, like, you finally have, like, a decent setup. You go to one city because you need, like, meds or something, and then there's some dude with, like, a fully auto gun who's already got it out, and he just so happens to be, like, already aiming at a doorway or something. Yeah. And you run in, it's just like, and you're like, mother. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I just couldn't do it anymore, so I hard quit Tarkov. And then the issue was, like, we were trying to find games to not play, and we couldn't find anything. So I was like, we got to figure something out. And then I was like, oh, yeah, Rocky got a VR. Why are we not playing VR? Yeah, most definitely. Me can you do, like, your live stream videos through VR? I can live stream to Facebook, but it's because Meta and Facebook are like a thing. Or connected, yeah. Yeah. So I can live stream to Facebook. Now, if I'm playing Steam VR or whatever, I can like live stream to here and then just use OBS to like live stream to, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, Facebook would be like super easy to do for sure. But yeah, we do, we need to like, VR is awesome. Like, I'm down to play VR anytime. Yeah. Golf. Yeah, dude. Me and Ebon, we, uh, well, you was there too, Rocky, wasn't you? No, it was Cody. No, it was Cody. I was going to say it was Cody. Uh, me, me, Ebon, and Cody were playing uh, mini golf on that new adventure or, some, or walkthrough adventure or something. Dude, that was, that was fun. Is it actually like you stand up like you're playing mini golf? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't have legs. Yeah. Well, most of the other things, you don't have legs. <laughs> yeah. That is true. You go legless. <laughs> but it that one is a, that's a fun, uh, you can like download maps and stuff like that. It's fun. Pretty cool. Me and Sean played, me and you played, what, Population 1 one time? Yeah. There yeah. Was a, there was an update. I seen it on my phone. They like updated my VR. Uh, uh, population one did or whatever. Yeah, that that's fun. For the most part, you get into those hard lobbies and you get dookied on. Yeah, then you're like, oh, why am I fucking playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> I wish uh, Onward was still going on. I know it was good. One in the chamber what was on. Uh, Onward was a uh, sort of like an army game, in a way, but. There's like different game Search modes you could play. Yeah. Basically. They had yeah, this actually. they had this one game mode that was called uh uh one in the chamber. And you got one bullet and a knife, and your knife was like up here, you know? So you shoot your bullet, you lose it, of course, and then you have to go knife them. But if you both miss, because like my buddy, he would be like, you know, and then somebody'd shoot, <laughs> yeah, somebody'd shoot and he'd be like and then you'd miss, obviously, and he'd be like running up to you, you know, and then he'd be like fucking knifey, and he'd be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that was fun. They have they have like parlor and and stuff like that, but I've never played them. Pablar. Yeah, Pablar. Whatever that is, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Cool, you can play like Call of Duty Zombies and shit. See, that would be fun. I think I think that would be fun. It definitely is worth buying, 100%. Cody said... I've not, Go ahead, I've not played much of any. I've not played much of anything on mine. Like, I've only played, like, just a couple of free games, just, like, trying it out. But I, I haven't for, played much of anything. I forgot that you had one. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd be playing it more. Yeah, I probably, sometimes I call you, and then you're like, yeah, dude, we, we, I just did a podcast episode with this guy, and I'm like, Sean, that was me. And you're like, oh yeah. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> um, I always mess with you. I always mess with him, Ebon. And I'm like, I think you just forget that I'm your buddy. <laughs> you forget that you me and you do stuff together. <laughs> uh, I just have a terrible memory. And I probably I shouldn't. Me. Yeah. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Everyone, everyone that listens to podcast is gonna think my last name's Singapore. You don't remember my last name? What is? Uh, you mean you don't have to say your last name on here, but we'll, we'll insert a bleep. Just 
percent for Lebeau. <laughs> I didn't believe it. <laughs> Would you have to believe it now or edit? <laughs> Jamie, uh, edit that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I never knew how to spell it, so I just put Singapore, LOL, in my phone. It's been like that for like four or five years now. <laughs> yeah. Ever since I got your number. <laughs> I'd Rocky Gaming. Rocky Gaming. <laughs> really? Yep. Rocky I'm, more than, I'm, gaming. I'm more than gaming, Ebon. Hey, <laughs> you're, you're all caps in there as Rocky. Oh, dude, I got some hot tea for you guys. Well, well, Rocky, really. Um, so I got a call the other day, and um, I didn't know the number, so obviously I let them, let, you know, they left a voicemail. And it was a guy from AutoZone. He said, uh, hey, man, I'm like a salesman or whatever for, um, I can't remember the name of the software. Anyway, it's it's uh doesn't matter. They sell a software that you know shops use and stuff like that, and then they notice that we have a car business, so they wanted to sell us software. So he called. And he was like, "By the way, I think I was in the Gambler with you. Um, I drove like the the van or whatever. His name's Chuck. You know who Chuck is, right? The guy that took over the Alabama Gambler. Oh, really? Yeah." He said, man, I think I was in that gambler with you. My name's Chuck. I drove a van or whatever. Um, holla, I, if this is not the right shot, I'm sorry for leaving this voicemail. Call, you know, call me back. <laughs> so I called him back. I was like, hey, man, I am that guy. I drove a Miata in the thing. He's like, dude, I thought that was you. And I was like, yeah, I just, you know, I haven't been to an Alabama gambler in a long time. I said, there's like, you know, there's some reasons to go into it, but you own the gambler, so I'm not going to bug you with that. And he was like, well, I don't know more. And I was like, really? Well, what happened? And he said, well, I had the gambler. We were scouting for, you know, trails and stuff. Because I was wondering, I was like, why have they not released an Alabama gambler in a long time? It's been like over a year or something like that. And uh, they just did like a Toys for Tots, which is cool, but um, they just haven't done one in a long time. Like a, you know, like a full trail gambler or whatever, like we used to do. So I asked him what was going on. And he said, my wife got sick and got put in the hospital. So I you know, went to do that. And so I wasn't going to be able to make it to that event that they had. Well, after she got out of the hospital and stuff, I checked to see if I was, you know, you know, checked the Facebook or whatever. And I was kicked out of the admin thing. So I called the guy that previously owned the gambler and asked him what happened. He went and answered my calls. He finally texted me and was like, you know, I... You know, I trusted you with this shit, and then you just let it go, and you didn't do it, blah, blah, blah. Just kind of like how he treated me. And then uh, he was like, well, shit, you know, I tried. And then he said that was the end of it, and he hadn't been since. He hadn't been to an Alabama gambler since. I was like, dude, have I got a story for you? (laughs) I I, I, I said, he asked me for four spots, dude. Four. I told him I knew of four spots, and he thought I was putting the whole gambler together. And I told him if he'd have let me, I'd have done it. And he threw a fit at me, and he let this other guy do it. And he let this other guy, like, put the thing together. And then he took, you know, he took us on that trail, but it was just going through the Talladega Forest or whatever. It was the one me and you did. So, you know, he done that. We got back to camp or whatever, and he said, it, you know, or we we got to camp the first night. That's what it was. And it was the night we all stayed at Stony and we had the uh, the cabin or whatever. And uh, he was like, we were all standing around, and he was like, dude, I could fucking punch you in the face because he was like, you know, super drunk. I think he was with me when he said that. And we was like, let's get out of here. And we went to Dylan's that night. Yeah. But yeah, he was like, I could punch you in the face. But I'm not going to. I was like, yeah, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I got a couple fools with me to put you down. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was, uh, I told him all that. And he was like, yeah, dude, he's just a, you know, it just sucks that he's like that. And I was like, yeah, it's whatever, I guess. So we went, the last gambler we went to, we did not feel welcome. We tried to talk to people. Nobody talked to us. It's like somebody like pre-warned them before we got there. 
I said, we camped out that night. We rode half a day and we come home. I said, we drove like three hours away to get there too. And it was just like a waste of money. And he was like, oh yeah, I could see that. So we should tell this dude about what we're, what we got going on. I know I want, I want to so bad. I want to like get him in on it. <clears throat> um, but he is like, you know, uh, the gambler's awesome. It's cool, cool little thing, you know. Um, they do their thing. They pick up trash. They do trails. It's awesome. Helping the environment. All for it. I want to take old busted cars and do the same thing, but I just, you know, if we need to pick up trash, we do it. It's cool. I don't want to make a huge, like, thing out of it, but I do want to do, like, long-distance trail rides with cars but I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to copy them. I just want to do something cool. Right. So what we, me and Rocky had come up with on paper is, you know, we get these cars and and drive them for a certain amount of miles and, you know, we have fun with it. Kind of like a top gear thing in in a way, but, you know, we have fun with it. We just, yeah, I would say, I would say that's more what it's like. It's more of doing like a, I don't know, I guess, like, everybody pick a car, and then we can all, like, you know, do challenges and see who got the best car kind of thing. Yeah. I'd so, say that's more what it is than, than a ripoff of the, of, of the gambler. So that's what we're working on. Like I said, we have it on paper. We are currently trying to work on that. Um, we had this huge announcement that we're making in the next, you know, week or two. We're trying to get that in front of us because that's the biggest thing that's going to be happening this year. We're trying to get that in front of us. And if that works out, maybe that same sponsor can help us with this next thing that we're trying to put together. But it all depends on if this first thing is going to work out. So that's where we're at. On paper. <laughs> so we're just waiting on that. But I, I think it's I think that's something that needs to happen. I really want to do that. I think that'd be really fun. Just getting a, just a junky car and just drive. And we Dude, bumping it's, in. It's so fun. Yeah, bumping you into each other. You don't worry about like scratching them, denting them, nothing like that. Just beaters. Yeah. Yep. Absolute beaters. Just get back. Uh, just make it fun again. I think it'd be super, super cool. And that's what, like, the whole thing. That's what it's supposed to be about. Is like good times. You know, if somebody needs help, you help them, kind of thing. And then the gambler like that and then picking up trash and and helping the environment or whatever you know right super good things it's dude just the alabama gambler is like somebody else needs to run it just like the guy that did it did a good job he's just a butthole to some people it's a butthole to me i'll be there (laughs) yeah he's a butthole to chuck uh it just you can't you can't be like that you know you can't just be a butt like that to people. Ivan, I I would be very surprised if they don't have that in your state. Oh, oh they, they do probably. Yeah, they do. do they? 100%. they have to. One hundred percent. I was pretty sure like every state had their own had their own thing. Yeah, it originated it originated out of uh, Oregon. Oregon, yeah, and and then you know after that it was. I don't know what the next state was, but you know, everybody, it blew up. Everybody started doing it. Tennessee was one of the biggest. Yeah. Um, Tennessee's huge. Yeah. It's a massive one. And then they it's had like not. a, they had like a falling out. Some guy tried to copy their little thing. He called it like the, uh, he called it like the, I can't and they, remember. They, uh, they're up here too. They did, they picked up trash on October 21st. Yep. So yeah. we were, we were a big part of that. Um, hey, shut that door. Uh, we were a big part of that, a massive part of it. Uh, if you look on my YouTube channel, we have like multiple videos of, and they're big videos of like me, Rocky, Dylan. We all was like a huge part of it. Yeah. And and it's just that one dude that just ruined it. I don't know what his deal was either. Just, I mean, there's no profitable thing you, you can't profit from it you know what i mean so i don't know like what, what yeah. his deal was 
because that's like one of the rules. If you create something like that, you can't profit from it. You can't make, you can't sell merchandise from it or whatever. Like you can't yeah. do anything like that. He was there when he was like a butthole to that one dude. He had like gamblerish stickers or whatever. Yeah. And he was just like, I, oh, you know, five bucks. Um, yeah. He's like trying to get back the money he used to make them or whatever. And he was like, you selling this on my, on my event, dude? He like went ham on him. I think I remember that. Yeah. We was like sitting out there on the, like the bridge or whatever. I couldn't believe that. I was like, dude, just let him do his thing. He, I mean, he's dude. not making money off of him. Didn't seem like it. We got, we got to go camping with our thing too. Cause like, I want to go camping so bad. I do too, dude. We got to do camping. <laughs> You hate camping? I, hate camping. Yeah. I need my bed. Oh, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I like my bed, but, you know. No, nah, the only time I go camping is when I'm pissed drunk. <laughs> well, you just have I'm not, to. I'm not. Yeah. Ebon, I'm not. Ebon, we can make that happen. Yeah. That is a doable thing. Uh-oh. Well, camping down there would probably be different other than Hang up on, here. I'm recording. Yeah, as long as you got like something mesh to keep the mosquitoes off of you, then you're good. I know. Then I don't think it'd be any different. It gets cold at night down there. Not really. Now here you sweat, bro. We don't yeah, know. dude. <laughs> I don't think you know this, but we barely have a winter. Usually, yeah. it's like right. seven degrees at uh in December. We have like middle of january to like middle of february that's like, like it. this is our this is the peak we're in yeah. an ice storm right now this is our peak winter like, yeah this is this the coldest, is the coldest been in like yeah. four years <laughs> yeah for real <laughs> i'm getting this the fuck out of here i can't deal with this thing <laughs> oh yeah dude i took mine off i can't use it Jank. it's uh the pop filter yeah i just keep I keep hitting it off my face yeah I had to take my headset mic out too because I would like hit my headphones with it, and it's the worst sounding thing ever. I said mine pushes into my headset. Mine like clips like right there at that hole. Yeah, mine I used like to snap too. Yeah, I used to love it too because I could like. Huh? Dude. Did you? <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. We we don't see the eyes falling from the from the. From the sky over here, bro. They they excited. They're like, Dad, it's, it's raining ice out there. <laughs> Dad, it's raining, but it's cold. You believe this? It's turning white. <laughs> they don't see it. Sean, what's our time at? Uh, oh, uh, hour fifteen. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought. I can keep going if you guys want to keep going. I didn't matter. Okay. I was just, I, dude, I feel like we'd be going for like two hours, but I guess I, we've been on like chat. So yeah, we keep like having the pause and stuff. So that's probably why it's going to be like a 40 minute episode at the end of the edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, you right. <laughs> Sean said, I'm going to be up late doing this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll take him till Friday. Yeah, imagine. Quit dating the episode. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh yeah, I think uh, camping is a necessity. That's like I want to do that. Um, uh, getting uh, just getting the event started. We need to do this, Rocky. I'm excited now. Every time we yeah. talk about this kind of stuff, dude, I get hyped up. I, I, hundred percent. I'm with you. We gotta, we gotta get it on. What's wrong with her? Put socks Dude. on. What is it? Do what? It's all blurry to see. What? I was talking to my wife. She's right now. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hat just keeps fucking up. Messing up. Beep. Blurp. Sorry. Beep. I had to fix mine. Once I got mine where I liked it, I was like, leave it alone. This headset just makes my hat just sink down so much. But I have to do on the fly. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't have to on this one. 
she fixing this hat? What is she doing? Yeah. <laughs> Fix. Is it is it breezy outside? Yeah, it's very cold outside, but it ain't doing shit. Um, it's yeah, white so here. Is it snowing there? Yeah. Well, I don't know so, if it's it's like snowing, but it's ice and it's sticking. It's like sleety. Yeah. Supposed to be here at nine. So like just so you just so you know, Yvonne, like I'm an hour south of Sean and it's like nothing here. We're supposed to be doing it all here. Yeah. We're like in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, nothing here right now. I'm chilling. I don't what in front of your bikes. It's because your camera is uh focused all the way out there you can see the little blue dot even though it's blurry yeah, you, can, I can you see get that. the idea the pink's the worst right the pink's ice right you see um that? i don't know oh, oh, i don't I know pink is, the worst pink is ice purple is ice and snow don't is that your phone do you have a pink phone no it's it's see how wide it is oh yeah you're, wow that's yeah. a light i know i know the camera's blurry but um you're just doing the same thing mine's doing. All I can say is the cold affects my <laughs> bones so bad. My knee, dude. Like my knee is killing me right now. Um uh when I wake up and it's cold like that, it and I or when it's raining, dude, my knee hurts. Yo, your knee ever cre uh creak like er. No. Dude. <laughs> now you when I lose that thing up. When I'm walking around, I don't know if this is, uh, I hope this ain't bad, but when I'm like walking around, like when we had the event, like I, I just walked, I put it right there. Um, Leg I just, out. no, it didn't give out. Like it, it, it used to give out or whatever, but like walking around or something, the, you know, like the muscle at the front of your kneecap, it yeah. pops. Like, I don't know really? if that's normal or not. I asked the doctor, but he didn't seem like it affected anything, so. <laughs> he oh, said, "Hey, doc, hate. is this bad?" And he's like, I'm, I'm <laughs> "He grabbed like my knee, and you know, he like moved everything." He's like, "Yeah, it seemed pretty good." <laughs> I was like, "All right, cool." <laughs> but uh, wouldn't it be like so cool to like camp in like the snow? I mean, I know it suck. It would absolutely no. suck. But like, it, if we it's did not, like the, if you prepare, it's not bad. Yeah. If we, oh uh, yeah, like a sub zero sleeping bag and stuff like that. Yeah, those are expensive though, right? Uh, the Everything super like zip you up. The only thing showing is your face, so you can breathe. Ones are kind of pricey. Yeah. Huh? I'm surprised Milwaukee hasn't made like a heated sleeping bag yet. Yeah. The, uh, be charged. <laughs> Do what? I said I'm surprised Milwaukee hasn't made like a heated sleeping bag yet. Oh my god, dude! That would be dude, nuts. I would literally just bring a roll of plastic wrap and wrap a bunch of trees around. That's my shelter. And just make you a house out of like plastic wrap. Yep. <laughs> You just Did see Ebon one? out there. He's got like a glove on this hand. He's like holding the roll and he's like walking around <laughs> yeah. a bunch of time. What are you doing? Making a house. <laughs> throw some duct tape. Dude, That'd the contestants good. on Naked and Afraid, they're all screaming right now because they're like, that's it? I just had to bring plastic wrap? <laughs> <laughs> I got to smuggle that. <laughs> like Ebon's over, you know, he makes the door and you like, you know, you got to like twist it, go over. Yeah. <laughs> he's like making the door and it's going. <laughs> Dude, Make yes. a little doorway. I mean, it wouldn't be nothing to take down either. You just like cut it and just unwrap it. Yeah, that yep. would be. Uh, that's actually pretty smart. It's like a one-time use a, thing. Yeah, you know, like a disposable tent. That's probably why my stepdad <clears throat> shot me with a uh, frozen paintballs because. Because you were making tents in the yard. No, I used to cover oh. his uh, bronco with the uh, the saran wrap. He used to saran wrap his bronco all the time. <laughs> he would like come out he'd like come out in the morning time he's gotta be at work it's four o'clock in the morning he would open the door and be like fuck 
<laughs> just be so mad. His <laughs> Bronco be wrapped up in Saran wrap. He's like, dude, I'm 100. percent If something like that happens to me, I'm going to work with Saran wrap. I'm cutting the dude. strip, going in the door, driving to work. We do that shit to our coworkers sometimes. We'll Saran wrap the shit, out, or well, they're plastic wrap the shit out of their toolbox. And then put it somewhere with the forklift, and then they'll just be like, look on top of a press, and they'll find it, and they're like, what the hell is that doing up there? (laughs) Imagine you doing that, and OSHA walks in. You're like, what are you doing? (laughs) What are you doing? We're storing this. (laughs) The nice nice thing about where I work is there's no OSHA, there's... It's There's nobody the company... for miles. No. You showed me where you lived. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do whatever the hell you wanted. OSHA ain't coming over there. I oh, probably yeah. don't even know you exist. <laughs> we, don't have money. we don't have money to send a scout out that far. I'm not going <laughs> to say where Ebon lives, but he showed me where he lived today, and it is literally like hundreds, uh, not hundreds. This could be hundreds of miles, right? It is. Uh, th- I mean, hold on, hold on. He I lives so. in a small town. It's like a little rectangle town, and it's just covered like forest for miles. Like it's uh to Pittsburgh is 139 miles. Yeah, it is nuts, dude. And it, it was like a little bitty rectangle town, and he's just surrounded in the middle of nowhere. When he's he was like, oh, I live in the middle of nowhere. I was like, huh? I mean, you know, Rocky lives in the middle of nowhere. No, <laughs> Bro, he doesn't Phil- live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Philly is 274 miles away from me. That is ridiculous. I don't even know how you got internet right now. Because I'm in the middle of town. (laughs) You go outside of town, there's no internet. There's no service. (laughs) You can't carry it to the woods. Literally, I live in a forest. That's what it's like called. Yeah. Elk forest. That is crazy. Like you legit live in the middle of nowhere, so that's insane. Yeah, I'm one of those towns you you're just driving through to on a long road trip, and you just see a t- random town. You're like, oh, hey, this would be a nice place I to need live. Some, I better yeah. get gas here. I'm not gonna get gas anywhere else. I can tell <laughs> it's you like this one for, of those uh, towns. <laughs> I can tell you this right now. We don't have any uh, crimes. I mean, we we have like little stupid stupid stuff, but like there's no murders. There's no robbings. There's none of that. Yeah, because everybody knows everybody. Yeah, it's literally there's, that's how it is. There's nineteen people in your pants. Okay, <laughs> nineteen, nineteen people. <laughs> Not that much. He's close. <laughs> He's close. No, for real. Our, uh, I, I would say our elementary school has maybe five hundred students. Not even. Yeah, that's maybe like crazy. Three fifty. Yeah, it's like crunchy. But there's thought. also nothing. There's also nothing here anymore. There used to be a bunch of factories, but they all sold out. Yeah. So there's nothing left here. We have the Talladega Forest, like here in Alabama, and uh, it's it's pretty big. I would say it's pretty big. But uh, like me and Rocky got to uh, drive around in it during one of the gamblers. That was fun. That was so fun. I'm telling you, we used to have a ton of fun when we did stuff like that. We got to do it again. It's going to happen again. Yeah, we got to do it again. But around here, all the trails, like all the trails for around here are either, like if it's a dirt trail, obviously you can take your car on there. Yeah. But but anything else, it's dirt bike and four wheelers around here. If you want to go act, if you want to go have fun, it's dirt bike and four wheelers. Yeah, but I really wanna I wanna get into uh, do you know the mountain biking that you start at like the top of the hill and you come down on an obstacle course? Yeah, I want to mm-hmm. start that, but I don't know where to go. <laughs> I would like to do some mountain biking. Um, but I haven't rode a bike in like two years, and I'm not trying to be the first time ride a bike go down the hill. And <laughs> yeah, I've heard shit. that like you never forget how to ride a bike. Yeah, that's true. What if you never learned? Oh. I mean, if you never learned, you can't, you can't forget it if you've never learned. Can you, though? No. Mm. No, we're not doing the whole born again thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was. We were at a Walmart. Uh, we were at Walmart like a week or two ago, and I was looking at the mountain box. I was like, I want to do this. And then, like, I'm like, I keep forgetting my knee. Like, 
I have to wait mm-hmm. till it's done healing fully before I can do stuff like this. I was like, man, this um, would be so I've never, fun. I've never looked at a mountain bike and been like, yeah, I could ride that off road. I look at a mountain bike and I imagine myself coming through the trails at Duck River, like doing some cool tail whips, like, like doing some. Yeah, cool until stuff. you snap your rim buying yeah. a Walmart bike, and it's it's really just me <laughs> out there, and I'm like, and I hit a jump, and I'm like. <laughs> it's just me that turns. The, the bike the doesn't bike's, go anywhere. The bike's just like, <laughs> it just keeps going. That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> he does one of those where, like, he hits the jump and the front wheel kind of like rides for a second. He's like, whoa, and, like, lands it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you see that, like, bro? Bro, you guys see that sick stunt? <laughs> Gets back up, hops on the bike, and does it again. <laughs> we drove our, uh, Matt, when we was hood rats, and we drove our, we drove our Groms everywhere. Uh, we went out there, and uh, me, it was me, uh, Dylan, I think it was, oh, it was me, Dylan, and Josh. We were out there on our groms, and I was like, let's go through the trail. He was like, no, it says no motorbikes. Yeah, there I go. <laughs> and I hit the trail, and they have to go with me because they don't know where I'm going. The trail is 20 miles long. So they have no idea where I'm going to end out of it, so they just follow which is a mistake because I'm not turning around. <laughs> so I just kept going. We were just like hitting the mountain bike jumps. Dude, that was so fun. Obviously, you would probably get in trouble, but that trail was brand new. They just built it, and we were like, let's take our chances. There's no cameras out here for sure. Like, they just built it. And it like it crossed under a bridge. and every, It was like one of the coolest nights I've probably ever had on that Grom. Cause we, we were hauling butt through those trails. It was fun. What about like e-bikes? Do e-bikes count as like motorized? I guess I mean I guess it would count as a motorized bike. You know what I would want is a Chiron. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, it's what all the YouTubers use. It's like the the electric dirt bike, basically. But it's like yeah, it's a mountain bike, but it's electric, and it's called a Chiron. Oh, does it have a screen on the frame? Mm. Or like. I know it's I got know. a. I know it's got a. Just look up uh, Sharon. Jamie, Jamie, pull that Jamie, up. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> but yeah, those all bikes right. are super cool. They like wheelie them all the time, which I probably I probably wouldn't be doing any wheelies uh, on them. Aren't these things like four thousand dollars? Yes, they're very expensive, but from what I can tell, they're worth it. Like if you're into stuff like that, they're worth it. Like if you would drive a Grom, you would drive one of these e-bikes because you can like, i wanted go, you can like, i wanted go, one of the uh the honda what is it 150 xl r or something like that yeah it's like a small dirt bike it's just like a 150 those things look pretty fun yeah i wouldn't mind having a little small dirt bike as well like just go have some fun in right i think it's essential for what we're about to do i think we need to like oh yeah try to try to find one or two that we can have fun on. Dude, they're oh, expensive sure. right now. People want like stupid amounts. Yeah, they're very expensive. There's a guy that owns one uh, here in Coleman. And uh, I was driving like, uh, we, we were delivering it. This is like two years ago. We were delivering an Instacart. And then we were like driving around, you know, on the back roads or whatever where the waterfall is. And uh, I seen him go by. So I stopped. And I was like, hey. He like come back up and I was like, "Is that a Chiron?" He's like, "Yeah." Like, Dude, can I check it out? He's like, "Sure." So we got out and I was like looking at it and he's like, "You can ride it if you want to." I was like, "No way." He's like, "Yeah, go ahead, go ahead." And I was like, "Okay." So I hopped on it like, you know, started messing around. I was like, "All right, bye." <laughs> and then I, but I turned around, and come back. I was just getting around. But yeah, he was, was like hoping that you'd wreck it so he could file it on his home. Oh room. yeah, one hundred percent. He's like, "I'm finna make bank off this dude." I've seen the videos where some dude would be like, yeah, man, you know, go ride the Z-bike. And the dude would like go around and like hit a jump and just slam the ground. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I would not let somebody do that on one of those expensive bikes. <laughs> no chance. But they're like super light and fast. You can like upgrade the batteries and even go even faster. I don't know why you would want to go that fast on, you know, something like that. But I'm sure you could change like sprocket sizes and stuff too. And just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be. Like, have you seen those? Uh e-scooters going like 70 miles an hour yeah oh I where s- they like unlock them yeah i yeah. seen like the uh i seen like a video where a guy was sitting at the gas station 
and the cop walked up and he was like, how fast are you going that thing? He was like, the speed limit. And he was like, no, man, I ain't trying to mess with it. And he was like, oh, you go pretty fast. I think you can go like 70. And that guy was like, go. Yeah, I don't know that I would trust that on a scooter, you know? Oh, yeah, get that wobble. Oh, yeah, the old. <laughs> and imagine 70 miles, like you're peaking, 70, 68, 70 miles an hour, and you get the wobble. And you hit a marble. Imagine, just like, it's a scooter. What are you going to do? It's not going to tank slap. It's going to flam, and you're going to go over the handlebars. Imagine Dude, getting I had thrown a at 60, 60 mile an hour. Just imagine, just getting thrown over the handlebars on the highway. I, I had a motorcycle wreck at 70. I definitely don't want to do it on a scooter. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Oh, my God. That would suck ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'd probably literally just suck your ass right off because it would just eat it. Like the pavement would just, if you ain't wearing leathers. Oh, yeah. He said, watch out. The pavement's getting frisky today. <laughs> <laughs> it's eating now, ass today. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on the video to come out. Of, like now that this snowstorm's coming through for like the people up north, like there's going to be shorts on or reels or whatever. of like somebody riding a scooter on a frozen road. There's going to be at least one. It's like that dude that's like, he, like they didn't shut his work down because they know he rides a scooter. Like, bro, you can make it. <laughs> you can make it. You ride a scooter. He's it. like, oh. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a guy driving on the interstate in a Harley in a snowstorm, and the guy just wrecks on this, wrecks in the middle of the highway. Oh, no. <laughs> dude, some people like a motorcycle was like their only mode of transportation. I think it was because like it looked like he had his construction gear on. Oh, but yeah. you can see him like sitting there going like 40 legs completely out making sure he doesn't wreck and yeah. then it just he hits a rut and it just shakes so bad and he eats the ground Dude, i've had like the death wobble on whenever i wreck my bike and yeah. like it hurts it kicks hard yeah and it's like a you know your steel handlebars and they're just like wham, 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 wham. it's it's so fast too i come out of a wheelie we left uh when charlie's leather was on the other side of the interstate and um Everybody used to meet up there all the time. I come out of Charlie's Leather and, and walk the wheelie. And when I come across the bridge, I come down and hit the crack of the bridge. Like, you know where a bridge meets the road? My yeah. front tire hit that crack. And when it did, it gave me death wobble. And it was like, do, 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 do. And there, you really don't know what to do in that situation. It's either you're going to crash or you're going to come out of it. Luckily, mine. Oh, I crashed. I'm <laughs> <Mine> come, <laughs> Mine come out of it. I was like, whoa, holy shit. I don't know if it was me that I just sped up a little bit to come out of it, but I wasn't even thinking. I was just like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> it was like smashing <laughs> my thumbs in, you know what I mean? I had I a can't dude. Drive. You can't ride a bike? No. I mean, I can, but every time I wreck them. <laughs> so I, I hear I, that, I brother. <laughs> I've wrecked so many bikes. Oh, man. That's what, what I'm known for in town. But I was, like, trying to be, like, a stunt rider. Like, I was trying to be, like, I was trying to ride. And everybody always talks about the wrecks. They don't talk about the cool shit I used to do. <laughs> like, I could, like, stand up on the hand, uh, on the bike and, like, on the tank and throw my arms out and, and stuff. Like, I've wrecked a few times doing that. Um, I could walk wheelies, like, standing on the seat and stuff. Like, there's a lot That's of cool. stuff that... that led to me doing that stuff there was a lot of wrecks in between but that's what you do you fall you gotta get back up again i just imagine sean is like with an e-bike but it's the dude from hot rod you know (laughs) (laughs) he goes and hits a jump and just like claps the side of a van they're like who didn't grace the ramp (laughs) imagine he's like power of the deaf eagle (laughs) (laughs) did uh my Facebook uh, memories, there was like a memory where Taylor tagged me in a post and she was like, Sean bought a bike today. It was a CBR 1000 or no, it was a CBR 600 R. That's what it was. She was like, Sean went and bought a bike today and he had a crash and please pray for him or something like that. And then everybody was like, Oh my God, what do you do? And he just, she was like, I don't know. He just crashed in some, you know, somebody's yard and I was coming down the road on my CBR, and I was like, oh, I was just trying it out. The first ride, I bought it, dude left, and I was like, let's tuck it down the road, see what I got. I come around the curve, and it was in front of Dylan's house, like when he lived in Coleman, and I was going to go around the curve at Dylan's and then haul a butt down that road because it's curvy. And I come out that thing and just barely hit a patch of gravel. And that bike went wham, and then I went flying 
across Dylan's yard, just like skipping across the grass. Dude. <laughs> Bike just doom, 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 just flipping. Oh, it was no. awful. I had to buy like new plastics for it. and yeah, It was awful. Dude, there's like these new riders that, I mean, even like, you know, big cruiser bikes, they're still like stunting them, doing wheelies and like the rolling burnout kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the video that come out of the dude? He gets it up on a wheelie, jumps over like a little 20 foot ditch. I'm assuming maybe like California or something like that. Lands it in a wheelie and keeps riding. Yeah. Well, so yeah that's that's nuts. That's, that's when people get like crazy. Yeah. I, said, I mean, you always get it. There was always going to be the guys that like whatever has been done, they're going to one up it. You know, there's yeah, always going to be yeah. those, those kind of guys out there. So it was bound to happen. There was a guy that I rode with, crazy dude, still crazy to this day. Um, he was actually just in the paper like a few weeks ago. He got arrested, but anyway, he's, he's still crazy. <laughs> um, he used to ride with me all the time. We used to ride in a big group. And I'd be like walking a wheelie, like sit down wheelie, just walking it. And I'd look over and he'd be like on the tank with his legs out like this, walking a wheelie. Like the craziest shit. I've never like, I was like, dude, what the fuck? Let's put mine down yep. and go home. Yeah. Let's <laughs> say at that like, point, I think I'm wrong just going to go to the house. <laughs> well, that was cool, bro. <laughs> My man flying over here. He didn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a regular bike too. He didn't have like a, like a, like I had like the, rear brake on the handlebars and stuff like that like he didn't have any of that he just like free floating and he didn't care crazy that's what i wanted to do was like stunt my grom that's what i wanted and i crashed it so many times bent the frame the forks were bent uh it was all kinds of stuff i didn't make a payment on it so the bank was looking for it because <laughs> did it suck because i was like i paid like thirty five hundred dollars for it brand new i got a loan on it it was like one of those it wasn't like a bank loan it was like a loan through like an agency or something it would you know i was young i didn't understand so you know the interest rate was massive on it so i had it for like two years and i called the people i was like get my taxes baby i want to pay this thing off how much i owe can't be but like three dollars you know what i mean because we went through, I'd paid like 30, I think it was like 3,800 is what I'd paid for it. Like that's what's come out of my account, 3,800. And I called them and uh, they were like, I was like, how much I owe? Is it like a couple hundred bucks? I can pay it to just get my taxes. Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, let me see here. They're like tapping on the computer. Like you owe 3,750. I was like, no, I'm coming to pay it off. Not what I've paid. Like, what do I owe? They're like, no, you owe 3,750. I was like, what? <laughs> she said, yeah, the interest rate like doubles the, you know, the, the whatever it is. I was like, wow, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make another payment. And she was like, sir, you know, it's like hung up the phone and I never talked to them again. <laughs> <laughs> never. Mm, and uh, I I know that they were, I know they were looking because it was like coming up to the door and like knocking on the door, but the bike was in the back chained up to a pole. So nobody could just like get it or whatever. So they would like just come up, like knock, be like, "Hey, you know, we're looking for the bike." I was like, "Shit, I don't know where was that." <laughs> he said, "Hey, let me know when you find it." Yeah, I said, "That thing is gone, bro." <laughs> but yeah, just, they eventually never come got it, and I don't have it anymore. I don't know where it is at this <laughs> point. Probably still chained up. <laughs> yes, could be very much, very much could be. Hey, it's chained up at somebody else's house. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody has filed for a uh, an abandoned title. Um, I actually know that somebody's filed for an abandoned title for it because I got like a thing in the mail for it. Like they want to transfer ownership. Oh yeah. And for as far as I know, I'd been through like two or three people since then. So I just like, yeah, good. You can have it. <laughs> uh, I don't want it back. <laughs> should have told him no <laughs> yeah no <laughs> no nah, boy bring that thing back <laughs> i've been looking for it <laughs> call make a police report yeah i found my stolen bike <laughs> <laughs> look what good you guys were yeah i give it away <laughs> the, bu- the bike that i want all of them are in uh looks like lakeland florida is like the main oh virginia florida north carolina 
It's the XR one fifty L is the bike that I was talking about. Yeah, I remember. I think I've looked it up before. Yeah, they're they're kinda like just a smaller like a oh like a multi purpose bike kinda like a dirt bike slash on road bike. Yeah. Got real skinny tires on it. They're supposed to sit like three inches higher than a Grom, I think. So they're not like massive. I love Groms. If I could, if I ever get another one, I probably won't because I just don't. I don't want to get back on the on the street bikes anymore. I just don't, don't want to anymore. Don't have an interest to. It's um, too dangerous. I'm too old too. <laughs> I used to be able to fall off a bike and get back on it, but I fall off. It took three days for me to get out of bed. <laughs> I just don't want that no more, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be about like me crashing that car into the stump. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God! He I said, wanted, that was my good knee. I wanted to go home, bro. <laughs> I didn't know how I pushed through that. <laughs> but, uh, Man, this has been a this has been a good podcast for sure. We've been all over the place. Yeah, we have. We really have. We've jumped from subject to subject, dude. But that's what I like. I like doing that. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Uh it will be on Spotify and YouTube's for sure. We're gonna make some clips of this kind of stuff. I think it's really uh we figured out a really good way to crack this algorithm i think it's going to work out fantastic um thanks for uh hanging out with us and enjoying the stories and uh want well, to thank yvonne for joining us and rocky thank you thank appreciate you. you guys being a part of this i know it sucks and it takes time of the day and i appreciate your time that you dedicate to, to this portion of your day man that was such a weird Mm-hmm. That's a long sentence there. <laughs> I ran out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go and play some VR, maybe, and uh, and whatnot. So, uh, I guess we will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're on Spotify, let us know you're there. And share. Tell your and friends. Share it. Send it to your friends. Share force it. them to listen to it. Let's go. Yeah. Unwillingly force them to listen to it. Put your play at work. Yeah, put your gross ear pod in their ear. Make yeah. them, make them listen. Oh. <laughs> Tie them to a chair. Play it on a loudspeaker. <laughs> over, over and over again. <laughs> you want to get some information? Make them listen to this. They'll tell you. They'll come up with it. No, <laughs> they will. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks again. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.